trigonometry trigonometry you learn in your chapter i mean form 3 chapter 5 form 4 modern math chapter 9 and form 5 additional math uh, chapter 5 so today i'm more focused about the form 3 and form 4 modern maths uh, after that i teach you additional maths uh, part of uh, additional maths now uh, before i start the trigonometry you must understand whenever you see trigonometry must have the 90 degrees uh, opposite okay must have the 90 degrees right angle triangle and this called hypotenuse always remember hypotenuse means the opposite 90 degrees called hypotenuse the angle is beside if the angle beside in a normal english word another word beside we call adjacent adjacent mean beside adjacent mean beside and opposite acute angle we call opposite all right so now this one very very important everybody must know i repeat again opposite the 90 degrees is hypotenuse the angle beside we call adjacent opposite acute angle called opposite so the formula you're going to remember is sine uh, x cos x uh, tangent x all right so plagiar and going to come back some like you hypotenuse memang hypotenuse uh, adjacent dari dalam bahasa Melayu dipanggil sebelahan kenapa dipanggil sebelahan sudut itu sebelah maka dipanggil sebelahan ini dipanggil tentangan jadi untuk mencari sine ok uh, hypotenuse memang hypotenuse untuk mencari sine sine memang formula itu tetap ok A saya gunakan H untuk hypotenuse A saya gunakan adjacent atau dalam bahasa Melayu S uh, O dalam bahasa Inggeris dalam bahasa Melayu panggil T jadi sine adalah in English call sine is opposite of hypotenuse Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is adjacent, uh, opposite over adjacent. So, must remember this. So, it's very, very important. Okay, in Malay, we call uh, tentangan dibahagi dengan uh, hypotenuse. Sebelah dibahagi dengan hypotenuse. Uh, tentangan dibahagi dengan sebelah. Ini dalam bahasa Melayu. Ini dalam, ini dalam bahasa Melayu. Jadi, untuk mencari sine cos tangent, this formula is fixed. This is a formula. Okay. So sine is opposite of hypotenuse, cos is adjacent of hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite of adjacent. Dalam bahasa Melayu, ten, uh, sine adalah tentangan dibagi dengan hypotenuse, cos adalah sebelah bagi hypotenuse, and tangent adalah tentangan bagi uh, sebelahan. Sangat penting. Okay, in English called short form to remember for sine, short form to remember for sine is, so, char, tua. What's the meaning of this? Okay, the mean sign is opposite over hypotenuse cos is adjacent or hypotenuse tangent is opposite over adjacent so such so chat why just remember this you can do the miss so means sign is opposite hypotenuse cos adjacent hypotenuse tangent is opposite adjacent okay uh there's a uh, things must remember then we can do the question okay i give an example now in exam okay before you do the question eh? right so uh you have the example first but before that, you must know the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem. Actually, we learned when you was uh, from one, okay? So Pythagoras theorem, the opposite 90 degree, I say hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side. So to get the longest side, according to the formula is, so uh, A square, okay, you want to find hypotenuse. So B square plus C square and square root. Only hypotenuse need plus, another two need minus. So you want to find the B and C. You need to minus A square minus B square square root. Uh, C is uh, A square minus B. Okay. Sorry, this is C square. Okay. A square minus B square square root. So only hypotenuse need plus, another two side you want to find, you need to minus. This one even minus from one. So it's very important because you're going to use. Right? Now, I give an example now. Okay, now in exam, how they will ask you? They give you like this. So they say, okay, here they given 13, and here they give uh, 12, and they will ask you find the sine x. Okay, to find the sine, okay, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So, first of all, you must understand where is opposite. So, before that, you need to find the side here, right? How to find this side? So, they just now you say Pythagoras theorem. To find the Pythagoras theorem, just now I say you want to find hypotenuse me, you need to plus another two side need to minus half to minus 13 square minus 12 square and square root. Then you press a calculator, you will get a 5 cm. That means therefore we know that the side is 5 cm. 
this time is 5 cm. That's why I think this term is very important. Alright? 5 cm. So you want to find the sin x. Okay, sin and just now you say sin is opposite hypotenuse. So you must know that uh, where is opposite? Just now you say opposite 90 is called hypotenuse. The angle beside called adjacent. Uh, this is called opposite. Alright? So sin is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is 12, hypotenuse 30. Alright? Uh, cos, if you want to find the cos, adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 5, hypotenuse 30. You want to find the tangent, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So that is a, I repeat again, sorry, I repeat again. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse. That's why you must remember this. Okay, adjacent is 5, hypotenuse is 30. So if you want to find the tangent, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Opposite is 12, adjacent is 5. Okay, this uh, okay, uh, question the last PT3 level. I think everybody understand. Okay, this is a way to find. So, you must remember, sign is what, cos is what, tangent is what. Then only you can do the question. I think you already understand. Okay, now, so sometimes how the question asks in exam. Okay, I give a different type of question in exam. The last year, in a PT3 level, form 3 level especially. Alright, they will say, this is a, uh, okay. Uh, okay, this uh, y, for example, they say given sign y is 2 over 3. Okay, they will say this is a, b, c, and here will give, uh, they give a, c, m. All right, now they find the a, c in this. Okay, centimeter. For this type of question, you must understand that okay, first of all, the given sign sign is opposite over hypotenuse. So where is opposite this one? Opposite is given 2, hypotenuse is given 3, okay? That's a ratio, okay? But actual length is uh, 2, that may, I mean like actual length is uh, 8, that means uh, times 4, sorry, time, okay, times 4, that 2 times 4, then we get 8. So same thing, if you times 4, you also times 4, that means from there you get AC is 12 cm, okay? So AC is 12 cm. Okay, you can check the answer by sine y. So the opposite is 8, uh, age, hypotenuse is 12. Then you simplify, you will get the answer 2 over 3. Uh, this one to check. Okay, but this answer, this is a way to do. Got other method also, but this is an easier method. I think for the PTT level, you just remember this, you are able to do the question. Okay, that's all. Alright, the most important, you must remember the formula. Okay, now. We go uh, form four, form four, modern math chapter nine. Actually, the same concept. Okay, but here you need uh, use unit circle. Unit circle mean the radius. Uh, radius is radius is one unit. Radius is one unit. Where okay, everything is one from the here. Yeah, okay, this uh, x exists. Here y exists. From here is one, 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 one. What is meaning one, one, one? According to coordinate one, two, three, one, two, one, ninety one, ninety two, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three. So around the one, 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 they call unit circle. The radius is one unit, and the uh, angle we count anti clockwise. Here zero, here ninety, here under eighty, here two hundred seventy, here three hundred sixty. The angle we count like this. So you have to find uh, okay. That means from here is one. From here is one. So maybe here from here 0 0.1, 0 0.2, until here 0 0.9, then it will be 1. So same thing, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, until here 0 0.9, then you want because everything is 1, 1, 1, 1. So you want to find the angle. So uh, you want to find this angle. For example, angle go anti-clockwise. Here 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. Let's say you want to find this angle. Okay. So the angle go move like this. Okay. You want to find this angle, you need to form a triangle. When you form the triangle, if you see sine theta, okay, just now I say sine is opposite hypotenuse. So the this called okay opposite. This called hypotenuse. Okay, just now we say okay the radius is one unit. That means this hypotenuse is one unit, so one. So sine is opposite of hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is you need to see the height of the uh, triangle. So you want to see the height of the triangle. Let's say here you get zero point eight. So then 0 0.8 divided by hypotenuse, hypotenuse is 1. So you'll get a 0 0.8. Let's say here 0 0.9, for example, you get a 0 0.9 divided by 1, you get 0 0.9. So what's the conclusion? So the down is 1. So whatever number you divide, you divide by 1, you get the same answer. So easy to say that, okay, 
uh, you want to find the sign, just refer the y is this 0 0.8 means 0 0.8, 0 0.9 means 0 0.1. So the okay, conclusion is you want to find the sign, just y divided by 1. Hypotenuse is 1, you refer the y is this. From there, we say uh, sign refer coordinate y. Alright, this is a concept. Okay, then you see the cos. Cos also, okay, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. You see, adjacent means this called adjacent, the angle beside called adjacent. Adjacent refer the adjacent. Let's say here 0 0.6. So adjacent is 0 0.6. Just now we say hypotenuse, the radius is 1 unit. So here's 1. So divide by 1, that is 0 0.6. Let's say here 0 0.7, for example. So 0 0.7 divided by 1, you get 0 0.7. The conclusion is, you okay, you want to find the cost, just refer the x exists. That means, x divided by 1, get x. So that's a, con, okay, a conclusion. Okay, how about tangent? Tangent is opposite of adjacent. So opposite, we refer the y exists. Adjacent, we refer the x exists. From there, we, okay, opposite of adjacent. So, Tangent is y over x. So if you understand this, so many things to learn from this one. This is the most important. I think you understand. So after this, you must know sine refer the coi, okay, coordinate y, uh, cos refer the coordinate x, uh, tangent is y over x. Okay, now, so I, I'm going to teach you now. Okay, uh, all right. First, under this uh, form four, okay, uh, which quadrant? Quadrant is positive or negative? Quadrant positive or negative all right just now i said all right okay I'll give a explanation all right so now you know that this x here coordinate x positive here negative here coordinate y positive here negative so just now i say sign refer the coordinate y you see the coordinate y here positive that's why you say sign here positive all right the first this called first quadrant this called second quadrant this called third quadrant this called fourth quadrant okay cause refer the Coordinate x. Coordinate x is a positive. That's why uh, cos is also positive. Okay, tangent is y over x. So y here, coordinate y here positive. Coordinate x also positive. Positive divided by positive, you get positive. That's why you call tangent positive. That's why the first quadrant called positive. Okay, second quadrant, sine refer the coordinate y. So coordinate y is positive, that's why positive. Cos refer coordinate x. Coordinate x is negative, that's why negative. Tangent is y of x y is positive x is negative that's a positive divided by negative negative that's why here only sign positive whereas for this one sign differ the coordinate y coordinate y is negative that's why y negative all right my sign negative and cos differ the coordinate x the x is negative that's a negative and tangent is y of x y is negative x also negative negative divided by negative you get positive that's why you call tangent here positive all right uh, sign differ coordinate y coordinate y is negative Okay, so because refer the y exists, cos refer the coordinate x, so that's why cos is here positive. Tangent is y of x, y here negative, x is a positive, negative by positive, negative. From there, like you get the uh, conclusion, they say, okay, uh, some picture they explain, uh, remember like this uh, add sugar to coffee, add sugar to coffee. This one to remember, this one to understand. Okay, so what I mean. Uh, a stand for all, all positive. Here S stand for sine positive. Another two negative. T mean tangent positive. Another two negative. Cos mean a uh, coffee mean cos positive. Another two negative. So this one to remember. This one to understand. So you see all positive here, all positive. Here sine only positive. Another two negative. Here uh, tangent positive. That's why I call two. T tangent positive. This one coffee. C cos positive, another negative. So remember, all sugar, uh, uh, add sugar to coffee, or another things, all sign teacher crazy. Uh, anything you want, okay? So this, uh, okay, this one to remember, this one to understand. Okay, this one regarding the positive and negative. All right. Second, under this one, you must know that the special angle, special angles. Okay, what means special angle? Special angles means, so the angle is something like this, okay? Now, here, okay, I say just now here 0 degrees, here 90, here 180, here 270, here 360. So we know that everything, the radius is 1 unit. So here will be 1, 0. This will be 0, 1. Uh, this is, uh, okay, negative 1, 0. Uh, this is a uh, 0, negative 1. Alright, so from here, okay, just now we know that 
sin refer coordinate y, cos refer coordinate x, tangent refer y of x. It's very important. So now from here we can uh, fill up the angle now. Here 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. Here uh, sin theta, uh, sin theta, cos theta, and tangent theta. Theta. Okay. Now from there they get angle. Okay, this angle. Okay. So now sine refer coordinate y. Uh, this, you know that this is x. This is y. Okay. Zero is here. Sine refer coordinate y. This one is we already learned. So y is zero. This y is zero. Okay, sine refer coordinate uh, y here. 90 is a y is a 1. Here 180 is 0. Here 1 is 0. 270 is uh, k refer to y negative 1. Okay, and here 0. From there I get this angle. Okay, cos refer the coordinate x. Coordinate x here 0, here 1. Here is 0 because refer the coordinate x. Okay, this is very important. Coordinate x is negative 1. Here is uh, 0. Here is 1. Okay, if you tangent, tangent is y of x. Okay, y divided by x. Y here is 0, x here 1. So 0 divided by 1, you get 0. Whereas here y, okay, uh, 1 divided by 0, you get max error. That's what max error actually is infinity. Here 0, here uh, infinity, here 0. Uh, this is called special angle. And this, uh, okay, from here like, we get it, the graph. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to draw the graph. Okay, or sketch the graph. See, okay, we see the now sine, graph sine, sine. You see now, year 0, year 90, year 180, 270, 360. Maximum 1, minimum 91. 0, 0, yeah. Uh, 90 is 1. 180 is, uh, okay, 0. 270 is negative 1. 360 is 0. It's called sine. So that's why the graph will come like this. Okay, it's a graph for sine. Okay, if a cost, same thing, we want to go for cost, same concept. Okay, here, uh, okay, see now, maximum 1, minimum 91, here 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. So, when cost, now you see the cost, 0 is 1, cost 90 is 0, cost 200, okay, uh, negative 1, and two, okay, uh, 270 is 0. 360 is 1. That's why the graph will come like this. Okay. This is called graph sine. This graph cos. Alright. Then how about the tangent? Okay. Tangent is a bit different than the graph. So you divide it by 3 because. Okay. It got infinity. Year 0, year 90, year 180, 270, 360. Alright. Now. So. 0 is 0. At the 90 is go infinity. But it means it's go nearer but you cannot touch. Cannot touch. It's wrong. Cannot touch. So that's why the graph. For trigonometry, this one. So this is a graph for tangent, this is a cos. Okay. So this graph can get it from the level. And finally, finally, okay, uh, we call acute angle. This is a third aspect. Uh, acute angle, or we call corresponding angle, or basic angle, or we call corresponding angle. So this angle always attached okay, or near to x axis. Alright, this is a very important, must remember. Okay, now, for, okay, so the angle, the formula is here 0, here 90, here 270, here 180, 270, 360. So the angle always near to the x axis mean or attached to the x axis here, 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 and here. So the formula here theta, here is 180 minus theta. From here, because 180, you want to find this angle, 180 minus, 180 minus this one, you get this angle. This is the formula speaks. Right now, here theta plus 180 because we count from here to here and here 360 minus theta. And uh, this is the formula. Okay, how the question asks you about this? Okay, I'll give an example. So, in example, will give you given they will say uh, cos uh, x equals to uh, 0 0.5. Okay, find the, find the values values of x for 0 to 360 okay so what's the question now you need to okay you want to find the cos x equals to 0 0.5 you want to find the x angle of x you need to shift cos 0 0.5 you get the 60 okay so from there okay you get 60 the 60 
can be here. The media can be here, can be here, and can be here, or can be here. So you see, but because it's a positive, you can see, here front is a positive. It's positive, that cause positive. Just now I say, add sugar to coffee. So cause positive only here and here. Because here sign positive, here tangent positive. So even though we can take the 4, 4, but you cannot take this and this because you're positive. Here is, uh, just take 60. Here is, use this formula, 360 minus 60. The answer is 300. So the two answers need to give. So you can check your answer. Is it, you press calculator, cos, okay, uh, 60. You get 0 0.5 okay you press cost uh, 300 you get a 0 0.5 this one to check the answer that's all for the form 5 additional math the okay so far you learn sine okay sine uh, theta cos theta and tangent theta so under form 5 at math uh, chapter 5 you got uh, another three things uh, new things that you call one over sine uh, one over cos and one over tangent so these are new things but same sign also same but we call it reciprocal one over one over one over so sign is you know that opposite of our hypotenuse cos is adjacent of our hypotenuse tangent is opposite of our adjacent correct but here under trigonometry at max eh, ten, okay tangent also we can write sine over cos okay sine over cos for example let's say you divide on top over uh, h over over h divide by a o h you will get that get back the over a that means tangent also we can when okay say sine over cos all right okay here one over, one over sine we call uh cosec this is a new okay a new for you but the name only new but actually one over sine so cos mean circle circle and one over tangent we call cotangent right so uh, just when I say tangent is sine of cos okay cotangent is one over tangent so whenever one over tangent it become one over sine over cos actually we okay divide become cos over sine all right this is a uh, new things for you in a max right but new means only the names new but the rest is same so you must remember the six things Okay, uh, for further, okay, uh, future, maybe I teach you MS uh, completely. Now, just remember the formula, uh, cos x is what, second is what, cotangent is what. And tangent also sine of cos, and cotangent is cos of sine. That's what for MS, uh, future, maybe I teach you completely uh, MS. Bye.